Hello, hello, everybody. How are you? Good night, everybody. Good evening, by the way, right? How was your day, guys? Hello. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, everybody. How was your day? Good. Good evening. Right? So, so. Happy, excellent. A little bit stressful, right? <laughs> Sometimes, right? Sometimes happen, right? <laughs> so we have to see the positive sides, as I say, somebody said, right? So in this case, we are going to continue with the class. Do you have problems getting in the platform, guys? Mm -hmm. You could resolve the problems? Yes. Okay. She helped you? Les ayudaron, chicos? No. No? Really? Yeah. You didn't get the access? Um, no. In my case, I didn't have anything uh, help. Did you write it, the girl? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, perfect. So, this is so strange, guys. I saw the message of the girl that said, I'm going to be here with you guys and I'm going to help you to have the access, something like this. And I thought that you were already done that part. But we're going to try, okay? So, you didn't have access to the platform. You don't have the usuario ni contraseña. Um, can I speak in Spanish? <laughs> okay. ¿No tienen el, el, el usuario ni la contraseña para entrar a la plataforma? En mi caso, eh, sí lo tengo, pero he escuchado a varios compañeros que tuvieron problemas para ingresar. Ah, ok. Pero vamos a tratar ahorita. Vamos a ver si tratamos ahorita de entrar a la plataforma y vamos a tratar de explicar y vamos a ver si hacemos la primera tarea. Yo les voy a ayudar en la primera tarea y voy a explicar cómo se va a desarrollar las cosas para los que nos subieron ayer y para los que, pues, tal vez eh, nos perdimos de algo, ¿verdad? No hay ningún problema. Vamos a tener un espacio para resolver eso. Este día vamos a trabajar con el manual. Chicos, ¿pudieron hacer el ejercicio de la clase de ayer? ¿O ¿Tuvieron problemitas con eso? No. Hola. Ajá. Buenas noches. Good night. Good evening, right? Good, good. En mi caso, este, no pude hacer el ejercicio porque no terminé porque yo uso teléfono. Entonces, cuando usted pasó lista, yo entré a, a, a donde estaba para decir presente. Uh -huh. Me borró todo lo que había hecho y ya cuando terminó la clase no lo encontré, no pude encontrarlo. De igual manera no he podido entrar para hacer la tarea porque me dice que el, el correo o la contraseña es inválida. Ah, no okay. es correo. Bueno, ahorita voy a reportar eso, chicos. A ver si nos pueden ayudar. Este... Porque en, en usuario era el correo, ¿verdad? Y en contraseña es del 1 al 8. Así es, esa es. Pero no, no me deja entrar. Permítame, voy a escribir a esta chica. La chica Carla, ok. Carla les compartió el, el manual, ¿verdad? Muy buenas tardes, estimado. Un gusto saludarle. En estos momentos estaré apoyando a cada uno con el ingreso de la plataforma. Mm, ok. Just give me some minutes. Okay, she's not in she's not online, but I already sent the message, right? Yes. Mm, I'm going to speak with uh Flor, right? 
flor, flor, flor. Ok, ¿quiénes intentaron entrar este, y no les, no les abrió nada? ¿Y quiénes pudieron entrar? Ok, Mar Marlenis, ¿pudo, ¿pudo entrar Marlenis? Sí, pero no me abrió nada. Y yo mandé ahí de que necesitaba que me ayudaran, pero no, no pude. ¿Quién más? ¿Sombrías? ¿Alguien más puede entrar? I can. You can't. Sí. Or you can't. Yo usted, sí puedo. usted pudo y Carla pudo. Yes. Ah, ok, perfecto. Dos. Ok. También puede entrar. ¿Usted puede entrar, Karen? Sí, ayer me dio problemas, pero me ayudaron también. Ah, okay. Ya hoy sí pude entrar. Bien. Perfecto, excelente. ¿Somebody else? ¿Alguien más? Roberto, ¿usted puede entrar, Roberto? I can hear you. Connect your microphone, please. <laughs> ok, ya le escribí a ella. Voy a buscar a Flor, entonces tal vez nos pueda ayudar también Flor Sánchez, right? Y, um, Um. Okay, she's writing right now, okay? Maybe she can uh, support us, right? Roberto, okay, Roberto. What's that? This is the this is the link of the of the practice, right? No? Okay, guys. For a while, okay. I'm uh, I already written the message, right? I already write uh, to her, right? But we need to wait some some time, right? So for a while we are going to start. With the list, okay. Just give me some minutes, and I'm going to open the list. I'm going to pass it. Remember that we have to pass it at five, fifteen minutes past a uh, past eight, right? So let's see. Where's that? Where is that? Just give me some minutes. Where is, okay, it's here. Okay, we are here. Okay, so day number two. Today is 21st, November 21st, 2023, right? So let's continue. Alexa Guadalupe Lopez eh, de Vasquez. I'm here. Thank you. And uh -huh. I'm sorry. And I am widow. Widow basket. Widow. Okay. Widow basket. Right. 
Okay, mm -hmm. perfect. So, eh, Berta Lisette Medrano, Medrano. Present. Excellent, thank you. Eh, Daniel Jonás Hernández García. Present. Let me check. Hola, hola. Okay, present. Okay, thank you. Edwin Asunción Abarca se se la se se la ya se la yandía, perdón. <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> I'm here. Okay, thank you. Eh, let's see. Edwin Walter Flores Munguía. Edwin Walter Flores Munguía. Presente. Ah, okay, thank you. Just give me some minutes. Okay, perfect. Eh, let's see. Jose Roberto Perla Guevara. Jose Roberto Perla Guevara. Okay. Karen Beatriz Ramirez López. Present. Thank you, Teacher. Karen. You're welcome. Carla Susena Flores de Ponce. Carla Susena. She's not here? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, perfect. Thank you so much. Laura Guadalupe Bonilla Cruz. Laura Guadalupe Bonilla Cruz. She's not here? Okay, perfect. Luis Enrique Valera Rodriguez. Luis Enrique? Present teacher. Okay, thank you, Luis Enrique. Mario Alexander González Celaya. I'm here. Thank you. Marlenis Noemi Martinez Reyes. Present teacher. Thank you, Marlenis. Pablo Josué Mansor Cruz. Pablo Josué Mansor Cruz. He's not here. Okay. Pedro Ángel Benítez Andrade. Guys, Pedro Ángel Benítez Andrades, no, okay. Pedro Mauricio Velázquez Sorto, Pedro, okay. Thank you, Wilfredo Gómez Robles, Wilfredo Gómez Robles, no, okay. Perfect. Thank you so much. Jenny's Noemi Contreras Mendoza. Present. Thank you. Judy Vanessa Rivas de Peña. Present. Thank you. Eh, let's see. Flores Vinda, Elizabeth Chicas. Flores Vinda, Elizabeth Chicas. She's not here. Okay, perfect. So let's continue. Uh -huh. Which? Hola, Flores Vinda. No? Okay, perfect. So let's continue, guys. No tenía activo el, el, el micrófono, por eso no le había contestado. Name, please, nombrecito, please. Eh, Roberto, perla. Roberto, 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 Wells, Roberto. No tenía aquí el micrófono, por eso no. Ah, that is why, right. Okay. José Roberto Perla Guevara, right? Yeah. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much. Somebody else that is missing? Laura Guadalupe Bonilla Cruz. Pablo Josué Mansor Cruz. Pedro Ángel Benítez Andrade. Wilfredo Gómez Robles. No? Okay, perfect. So let's start, guys. But okay, now we're going to work with the manual, okay? Uh, did you upload, did you download the manual, guys? No. Okay, I recommend that you have to 
Download the manual because of this activity. Remember that sometimes we are going to work with the exercise, right? And it's a little bit like wasting time to just write it down everything that you have there. For example, we have the unit one. We are going to work with this, okay? Yesterday we were talking about negative and positive statement with verb to be, right? We say that we add the word not to the neck to construct the negative statement with verb to be. Remember that? For example, if I say I'm Roxanne, okay, I'm a teacher. Okay, if I say I'm a teacher, a negative statement could be I'm not a teacher, right? Okay, this is my negative statement. So Today we are going to make that exercise that appear in the manual, okay? For example, we have, think about some positions that people can find in your workplace. Also mention yours. Listen to your teacher, read the following occupation, then check with ones, which ones people can at your workplace. Okay, here we have some positions, positions or occupations, okay? This is our vocabulary words for today, okay? We have maintenance, we have floor manager, we have a supervisor, we have truck driver, and we have an engineer or a secretary. Which of these positions exists in your workplace? ¿Cuál de estas posiciones o de trabajo, o estos eh, trabajos o posiciones de trabajo existen en su área de trabajo o en su lugar de trabajo? Secretary. Secretary, muy bien. Excellent, Carla. What else? ¿Qué más? Supervisor. Supervisor, uh -huh. Engineer. Engineer, okay. Engineer. Secretary. Secretary, uh -huh. Is there a maintenance? It's no, like the ones is. that made the cleaning, right? Yes. Yes, right. Okay. It sees a supervisor there. Is there a supervisor? Yes. Yes, right? Is there a floor manager? Yes, floor my manager. Also, right? Muy bien, excelente. So, is there a truck driver? No. No, right? Okay. No? Somebody else? No. Okay, perfect. You already know what is the meaning of each concept that you have here. Do you already know what is maintenance? What is a supervisor? What is an engineer? What is a secretary? What is a truck driver? Or what is a floor manager? Do you have any doubts about, about that? It's, floor manager is like jefe de piso, right? Is clear? Sorry, because my, my head is like... <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> you already noticed, right? <laughs> okay, perfect. So let's continue, guys. So what we're going to do now in this part, guys, we are going to reorder the words that you have here. Take into account the, the words that we already did before. For example, you're going to scramble the following letters to discover what is the occupation that belongs to it. For example, ¿qué palabra podemos formar con esas palabras que ven acá? Engineer. Engineer, okay? Excellent. So you are going to write it down here because I don't I don't I, I can't do that here. So you are going to write it down, you are going to reorder the words there, right? That is why I told you that you have to print the manual because you just have to fill in the blanks in that case. So if you want you can take notes about that about that in your notebook, right? Okay, what is this one? What is the number two? 
I think it's floor manager. Yes, it's floor manager. Excellent. So what is the third one? Secretary. Secretary. Excellent. What is the fourth one? Truck driver. Okay. Perfect. And the fifth one? Supervisor. 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 And the last one, the number six. Maintenance. Maintenance. Okay, perfect. So these are the words that we are going to take into account. So let's see a little bit about the grammar that we were discussing yesterday. I told you that exists affirmative and negative statement. Remember that affirmative statement is like the sentences in a normal way. For example, I'm Natalie or I'm Natalie, and we use contractions, okay, or abbreviations. In this case, it's the apostrophe, right? You are a secretary, you are a secretary. He is an engineer, he's an engineer. He is a floor manager, he's floor manager. And also exists the negative form that like, I am not Natalie or I'm not Natalie. You are not a secretary or you're not a secretary. And so on, right? ESC. So you can combine the, the occupations that you have here with the affirmative and negative forms of the verb to be. Okay? It's clear? Right. It's good. Okay. Okay, let me know if you are taking notes, okay? In order to give you the time, okay? Si ustedes están tomando notas, por favor, déjenmelo saber para yo darles tiempo, ¿ok? Hola. Are you taking notes? No entendí qué vamos a hacer. No, es le estoy preguntando si están tomando nota de algunas, porque a veces nos gusta tomar notas, ¿verdad? Entonces, como no tenemos un manual, para que me digan y yo darles el tiempo para que usted pueda tomar y escribir. Tal vez solo si aplica la estructura que tienen, sería como un poco más entendible. Ok, vale, la estructura sería sujeto más verbo to be más complemento en este caso, ¿verdad? Esa es la positiva. Y la negativa sería sujeto más verbo to be más the word not, la palabra not, más the complement, que sería todo el resto de lo demás, right? Pero si no, vamos a abrir el one not just to make a, a remember, right? Remembering. Eso porque el día de ayer lo vimos, right? ¿Qué fue esta clase que vimos el día de ayer? En donde estuvimos haciendo los ejercicios, ¿verdad? Estuvimos hablando acerca del introduce yourself. And also we were talking about grievance and farewells. And also the three forms of the verb to be that is are, is, and am. First, second, and third person, right? And also... And we were talking about what we are going to use the verb to be and the contractions or abbreviations. In this case, the structure for these guys is the following. For positive or affirmative, we are going to follow these forms, okay? Subject plus Verb to be, right? Plus the complement. Okay, this is the affirmative form. Okay, let's talk about negative form. In negative form, we have We had subject plus verb to be plus were not, right? Plus the complement. And that's is, all. Which one? Is true. 
driver, algo así, ¿no? He is a truck driver, yes. If you want to use the, the occupations that we already study, you can use that. He is a truck driver, right? This, this is the affirmative form. But yeah. if you want to pass this affirmative form to the negative form, you just have to add the word not. For example, you, you are going to say he is, he is, he is not. not. He is not a truck driver. Exactly. That's the way. Adrián, assembler, no sé cómo se pronuncia eso. Assembler, ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Adrián, assembler. Uh -huh. Ensamblador, yes. Uh -huh. I am an assembler, I'm assembler, okay? Because it's, a, uh, it's in singular, right? So an am and a, it means like an article to define, it's not defined article, right? So it's, they means uno una, right? It depends. If you're going to talk about a word that starts with a vowel, you're going to use an. But if you're going to talk about a word that starts with a consonant sound, you're going to use a. Hey. In this case, it's an M because it starts with a vowel, the letter okay. A. Hey, okay. That's why I told you, right? Okay, did you finish to take the notes about the structure? I am not. Awesome. Hello, teacher. Hello, Peter. How are you? I'm fine. Excellent. Welcome. So, this moment, uh, uh, there are there is the problem the connection so you had a problem with the internet connection okay perfect i'm going to pause the list i'm going to write your your assistant okay give me some minutes in this moment is uh very good yeah connection okay you're already connected that's the most important yeah. that you already are, are here right with us sharing with us Thank you for your comprehension. No worries for that. Just give me some minutes and I'm going to write the assistant, the Peter assistant, right? Okay. Okay, Peter, what are you? Pedro Angel or Pedro Josue? Pedro Angel. Okay, Pedro Angel. Okay, perfecto, Pedro Angel. Vamos a ver, number one. Okay, excellent. Somebody else? Alguien más, chicos? Que acaba de entrar. No. Okay, perfecto. Let's change. Let's change. Oh, the one not. Oh, we were in the one not. Okay, perfect. Did you finish the take note? May I continue? Yes. Okay, perfect, excellent. So after saying that exists affirmative form and exists a negative form, we also have the interrogative form, okay? What is the interrogative form? That led us to make questions using the verb to be in present, okay? For example, we have short questions, like if you're going to say he is a truck driver, if you want to change it in a, in a question, you are going to change the position of the subject with the main verb or the auxiliary verb in this case, right? So this is the main verb. So if we have, he is a truck driver, we are going to pass it to the question form in the following structure. So you are going to use verb to be, plus subject plus complement.
plus complement. Verbo to be más el sujeto, más el complemento, más el signo de interrogación, the question mark, okay? Remember that if you don't use the question mark, it's not a question in English, okay? So an example. He is a truck driver. Is he a truck driver? Is he a truck driver? ¿Es él un, un, un conductor? ¿Verdad? Yes, yes. ¿De camiones? Yes, right? So, yes, tenemos, tenemos el verbo to be más el sujeto, más el complemento, más el question mark. ¿Ok? Entonces, la estructura aplica. Cuando nos vamos a hacer preguntas, esto cambia. Cambia la posición del sujeto con el verbo principal. ¿Ok? ¿Es clear? Okay. okay, por ejemplo, tenemos Are you a teacher? Yes, I am. O no, I am not. Y se contestan con, con respuestas cortas. Okay, si yo soy, no, yo no soy. Right? It depends on you. If you want to make it in a negative form or if you want it to make it in a positive form. For example, we have Is she a dentist? Or is he a doctor? It is a dog. Yes, it is. No, it isn't. Yes, she is. No, she isn't. Or yes, he is. No, he isn't, right? And the same as the other personal pronouns. Remember that when we are going to use second person, we are going to use are, okay? Like we, you, and they. Are you a teacher? Are they teachers? Are we teachers? Yes, we are. No, we aren't. Yes, sí. you are. No, you aren't. Uh huh. Tell me. So, uh, se me quedó congelada la pantalla, creo no. Oh, you okay. have heard. Okay, no worries. We are explaining about the question form. But ya más ya manejas la 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 positiva y la negativa, ¿verdad? Daniel. Sí. sí. Okay. Entonces estamos hablando de la question form. La question form sufre un cambio, right? It changes. Solamente le tenemos que cambiar la posición del verbo con el sujeto, ¿ok? Y al final se tiene que agregar una, un signo de interrogación or question mark to make the questions, ¿ok? Si tenemos he is a truck driver, en la pregunta tendríamos que cambiar esto con esto. Is he a truck driver? Yes, he is, right? O puede ser negativa, que sería no, he is not. O puede utilizar también la contracción o la abreviación, ¿verdad? Que es no, he isn't, right? Las dos son válidas. Puede utilizar la forma no contactada o la forma contactada, right? Y son eh, short questions, short answer question with verb to be. Okay? Is clear? Right. Perfect. Any questions? No. Okay, entonces, escríbame una pregunta en el chat de la mire, okay? Y usando el verbo to be. Okay? Go ahead. Acá, miren chicos, voy a abrir el chat, ok? And I'm going to see you. I'm going to read you also, right? Go ahead, you have three minutes to do that. Is she a nurse? Excellent. He is a 
He is a futbolista by Edwin. He is a futbolista is not a question. This is an, a positive statement, okay? Tiene que hacerme una pregunta. You have to make a question. Okay, is he a singer? Yes, that it is. Are you sad? Muy bien, excelente. Edwin, is he a, is he a soccer player? Okay, is he a yes. soccer player? Yes, is he a soccer player? Daniel said, are they friends? Excellent, Daniel, that's the way. Okay, is he is he a soccer player? Uh, the, the subject is missing, right? Okay, check that. Okay, uh, is he a doctor? Excellent. Is she a nurse? Yes, she is. No, she is. Excellent, Carla. Excellent. Thank you so much. Great. Somebody else? Edwin, is he a soccer player? Excellent, that it is, that's the way. Congratulations for that. Somebody else? <laughs> Luis said, I am an executive, okay, but translate that in a question, okay? Remember that when we are going to make a question, we are going to change the position of the subject with the main brain, that in this case is where to be. Could be, am I an executive? Am I an executive? Soy una ejecutiva? O soy una ejecutiva? Yes, I am. Or no, I am not, right? Somebody else? Alguien más? I am not a secretary, say Judy. Judy, you have to write a question, okay? <clears throat> Karen, you had to change the position of the subject with the bird. Is she a teacher? Am I a, am I a secretary? Could be the question, Judy. Okay. Soy una secretaria. Am I a secretary? Jenny is not me. Am I a cashier? You have to change. Also, Marlene is. Is he a, an engineer? Is he an engineer? Is he an engineer? Is he an engineer? An engineer? Edwin, is he an, is he an accountant? Remember that we are going to use the article N because the next word starts with a A, that is a vowel song. Yes, I am a secretary. Mm. Okay, Judy, you have to use the the structure that I told that I give you, okay. First of all, is the verb to be, and then we're going to place the subject, and then we're going to place the complement. That in this case could be, am I a teacher? Am I a secretary? Excellent. That's the way, Carla. Thank you so much. Am I a secretary? Soy una secretaria. Yes, I am, or no, I am not. Excellent. Somebody else? For example, if I have, I'm, okay, you are, you are, um, 
supervisor. You are a supervisor. Esa es la afirmativa. Si yo la quiero cambiar a pregunta, yo voy a decir, Are you a supervisor? Are you a supervisor? ¿Eres un supervisor? Forma positiva, forma interrogativa, ¿ok? Esto cambia. Miren, solamente esto. El you pasa para acá y el are pasa para acá. Si, si, si acá estuviera primera persona, el I pasará para el principio y el I pasará para después, al igual que con los demás, con el he, she, it, ¿verdad? Ok, perfecto. Oh, perdón. Ok, all right. I am an accountant. Ok, I am an accountant is not a question. It's an statement. Ok, affirmative statement. En este caso sería, am I an accountant? Am I an accountant? Si ustedes se fijan, el am pasa para el principio y el I pasa para después. Quiere decir que este es el sujeto, pasa al segundo plano y el verbo to be pasa a primer plano. Y se le agrega la question mark cuando quieren hacer pregunta, más no cuando es, un, eh, es una oración en afirmativo. ¿Ok? ¿Es clear? Okay, perfect. Excellent. Yeah. Somebody else? <clears throat> no? Okay, perfect. So let's continue, guys. Vaya, les estaba explicando lo de los artículos A and M, ¿verdad? Vamos a pasar a esto porque hay que manejarlo, right? A and M, the articles A and M, ¿pueden ver esta parte de acá? Mm -hmm. No, ok, perfecto, ahorita no. se los muestro. No. Ok, esta parte de acá, chicos. Vaya, eso es lo que estuvimos haciendo, ¿verdad? Eso sí lo vieron. Ah, sí, sí. Lo del chat de la Miri también lo vieron. Sí. Ah, ok, sí. perfecto. Cuando no vean pantalla o algo así, yo estoy explicando, tal vez a mí se me olvida. Eh, let me know, please. Háganmelo saber. Ok, perfecto. Vaya, estábamos hablando acerca de los artículos A and M. Estos dos artículos indefinidos significan uno, una. ¿Ok? Los dos. Los dos simbolizan lo mismo. Este significa lo mismo en español, right? La única diferencia entre ellos dos, chicos, es cómo nosotros lo vamos a utilizar. Cuando vamos a utilizar el artículo A y cuando vamos a utilizar el artículo M. ¿Ok? El artículo A lo vamos a ocupar cuando la siguiente palabra empiece con una consonante o con un sonido consonántico. When the next word starts with a consonant song, like this one, right? Like a book, a car, a dog, a frog, a frog, sorry, a lemon, a truck. Okay? Y cuando este se siente palabra sea en singular, que estén hablando solamente de una cosa. Okay? Keep in mind that. Hay que... Acordémonos de eso, metámonos en la mente que solo es para cuando hablamos de cosas singulares. ¿Y cuándo vamos a utilizar el artículo en? Cuando la siguiente palabra empiece con un sonido vocálico, ¿ok? La mayoría de palabras que comienzan con un sonido vocálico comienzan con una vocal. Por ejemplo, an apple. If you see, here is a vowel. ¿Qué es una vowel? Una vocal, ¿ok? An egg. An egg. An egg. An egg. An egg. Let's repeat. An egg. An egg. An egg. Un huevo, right? An insect. An insect. An insect. Okay. Un insecto. An orange. An, an orange. orange. An orange. Una naranja. 
Excellent. An umbrella. An, an umbrella. umbrella. An umbrella. Una sombrilla. Okay, una sombrilla. An actor. An, an actor. actor. An actor. Un actor. Un actor. Right? Mm. Y todas, si se fijan, todas esas palabras comienzan con una... Vocal. Vowel, vocal. o con una vocal. Okay? Y todas estas comienzan con una... Consonant. Consonant. Mm. So that is why we are going to use the article A. And here mm -hmm. we are going to use the article N because they start with a vowel sound or vowel letter, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, okay. Pero hay algunas que comienzan con consonantes, pero se les pone N porque no tienen sonido. Por ejemplo, an hour. An hour. ¿Qué pueden escuchar acá? ¿Escuchan la H o escuchan la O? An hour. An la hour. O. La O, por eso es que utilizamos N, porque dice ah. también que cuando la siguiente palabra comienza con un sonido vocal, or a vowel sound, ¿ok? Y acá, ajá, a universe, 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 a universe, ¿cómo comienza la palabra? A university, right? University, sorry. University. Universe. You. You, like you, right? You. Uh -huh. It's the song you. like you. So it sounds oh, like a Y. Por eso es que se utiliza el, el, el artículo E. Porque el sonido de la siguiente palabra es consonante. Consonante. Exactly. Uh -huh. uh, universe. Let's see this. An uncle. An uncle. Uh -huh. An uncle. Uncle, uncle sounds like a nail. Uncle, uncle. Uh, so that means it's a, it's a vowel sound. And a house, a house. A house. House. It's like a la J, right? So it's like a J. A house. So that is why it's a house. So it a has house. a consonant, consonant sound. That is why, right? It's clear? Right. Do you have any doubts? Questions about the use of that? Okay, perfect. So let's continue, guys. We are going to make a practice using the articles A and M, okay? Just give me some seconds. And I'm going to send you the, the link in the WhatsApp group. So let's see. Just give me some minutes. In the chat of the meeting, right? What is the chat? Where is the chat? I forgot where is it. Vale, entremos a ese link y vamos a hacer una pequeña practiquita es antes de comenzar con el otro tema, porque es necesario que usted sepa cómo utilizar los artículos A and N. ¿Ok? Go ahead. Get into that, please. I'm going to show you what you are going to find there. Do you find it? Okay, mm -hmm. indefinite article, A and M. So let's make a little bit practice, a little practice. You just have to display this and you are going to decide what is the best option that fits to this, okay? Mm -hmm. All right. It's clear? Just following the rules, the rules that we were explaining before. Um, roll. Um, 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 um,
Vaya, después cuando terminen de desplegar las flechitas, van a hacerle con el lapicito a donde está el nombre de la imagen que ven acá. Por ejemplo, tenemos la cama, vamos a desplegar acá y vamos a unir. You have to match the name with the, uh, with the, the things that you have here or with the picture that you have here. ¿Ok? ¿Es clear? Ok, perfecto. Después de que terminen de desplegar todo esto, hacen eso, ¿ok? Umbrella. Um, umbrella. Um, umbrella. Yes. Uh, uh. And uh, El pan. El pan. Speed, 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 um, speed, and um, so, um, so, don't you, Umbrella. Umbrella. Let me know when you finish. When you finish. We are going to give to the bottom that says finish, okay? And you are going to check your answer and you're going to look for the grades in the up size of the page in the left side, right? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I finish. Okay, finish. excellent. Excellent. Chicos, hay alguien que acaba de entrar ahorita que me diga porque voy a poner la asistencia, chicos. Ben. Nobody? Yes. Okay, perfect. So let's check it, right? No. Bye. Uh, Después de que termine, me le van a dar aquí, click. Okay. Aquí abajito, okay. Ajá, donde dice finish, de ahí me le van a dar check my answer, and then les va a aparecer, it's going to appear what are good and what are bad, and you're going to find your grades in the, in the left side 
of the page in the upside also, right? It's clear. You're going to take a picture just to the grade. Solo la nota, okay? Me van a mandar la screen al WhatsApp group. No, en, en la meeting acá. A chat de la meeting con su nombre completo, please. Just to see your interaction. Repeat, please, teacher. Vaya, luego de que termine la, la práctica, me le van a dar el botón finalizar, que está bajito, ¿verdad? Luego se van a ir a chequear mis, mis, eh, mis respuestas. Check my answer, donde está la lupa, right? Me van a dar clic ahí y ya les va a aparecer el resultado automáticamente en la parte superior izquierda de la página. Luego me le van a tomar captura a esta parte, solamente la nota, y me van a mandar la, la fotografía al chat de la Miri, que es en este que estamos trabajando, ¿ok? Exacto, Carla. Hola. Hola. Hola, teacher. Hello. Sí, yo estoy teniendo problemas porque accesé desde mi iPhone. No oh. estoy en... Y no, no estoy pudiendo hacer eso, pero sí estoy comprendiendo la clase. Ok, perfecto. You can do it when you have, when you finish the class, and you can send it to the WhatsApp group also, right? Okay. Okay, perfect. No worries for that. Okay. Excellent. Thank you so much. Bye. Everybody already finished? Everybody already sent it? Mm. Okay, Judy also, Alexa Guadalupe also. Who else? <clears throat> <clears throat> A ver, who else? Uh, Judy, and also we have Alexa, somebody else? Okay, Marlene is Noemi Martinez also. Here, she already sent it. Congrats, guys. You got good grades. Okay, perfect. Excellent. Okay, so let's continue, guys. After making this exercise, guys, uh, we are going to have a better view about the structure of this affirmative, negative, and interrogative forms of the verb to be, right? And, and also, we are talking about the indefinite articles, right? That are N and A, right? Significan uno, una, pero cambia la, la forma en la cual lo vamos a utilizar según la palabra que continúa después de ellos. ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, si la palabra empieza con una vocal, right? vamos a utilizar el artículo indefinido en. Pero si la siguiente palabra comienza con una consonante o un sonido consonántico, ¿verdad? vamos a ocupar el artículo a. ¿Ok? ¿Es clear? So, let's continue. Right. Just give me some minutes. Okay, we were here, right? We were saying, we were talking about maintaining, supervisor, floor manager, truck driver, secretary, engineer, and so on, right? And reorder the quest, the word, right? 
So what we are going to do now, guys, after learning how to do that, guys, we are going to complete the following sentences using the correct forms of the verb to be and the occupations um, between parentheses, okay? For example, we have Alan. Ya les están dando el sujeto. This is the subject of the sentences, right? And also is given what is the profession or the occupation that you are going to do, you use, sorry. But you are going to just complete the sentences using the current forms of the verb to be. For example, Alan is first, second, or third person. Es primera, segunda, tercera persona. Third person. Third person, okay, perfect. And what is the forms of the verb to be that we use with third person? She is. Is is, right? So Alan is a a, a or N. Um A. A truck driver. Muy bien. ¿Por qué? Porque truck driver comienza con una consonante y es un sonido consonántico. Quiere decir que Alan es un conductor de camiones, right? Okay. Uh -huh. Y así vamos a ir haciendo la número dos, la número tres, number four, number five, number six, ¿ok? Sí, yo. Tell me. No puedo pegar la, la captura en el chat. Se lo mando al WhatsApp. Sí, ok, perfect. No worries. Send it to the WhatsApp group. Um, it's... Nos podría mostrar cómo quedaría la oración primera, por favor, teacher. Es que aquí no puedo escribir. Voy a abrir el OneNote, entonces, ¿ok? ¿Quién me hace? No. ¿Pueden ver el OneNote? ¿Pueden ver la pizarra del OneNote? No. 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 Ok, voy a dejar de compartir entonces. Voy a volver a compartir. En el chat, en, en el, el chat, chat, teacher. Yes, I was thinking about that. Yes, thank you so much. Okay, sí. just give me some minutes. Voy a volver a compartir pantalla entonces con lo que estábamos. Uh -huh. Y vamos, ok. En el chat voy a escribir eso. Gracias, gracias, gracias. Thank you so much. So, okay. Alan is a truck Driver. Right. Driver, right? Alan is a truck driver. ¿Por qué? Hey, because the next word start with a consonant, consonant sound. sound. Okay? Alan is a truck driver. This is going to be the structure that you are going to follow. Okay? Go ahead. Excellent, Carla. Thank you so much. Is. Right. Alan is a truck driver. Who is Jimelis? I. Chicos, siempre que que escriban este su un mensaje en el WhatsApp, por favor poner su nombre, porque así sé quién es. Y acá solo dice Jimenez, but I don't know who is, who is y Pris. Consonante is. My boss. I am an um, ensembler. Yo soy un ensamblador.
Guys, remember that you have to keep your camera encendida, all right? Um, it move um no off, right? This is a rule for the group. So you have to turn on your camera, guys. Mm. Alexa, you are here, right? Let me check. Alexa, Alexa. Alexa, yes, right. Let me know when you finish, guys. Finish. Finish. Remember that if you have a word not, it that means that it's a negative form, okay?
Finish. Finish. Okay, perfect. So let's check it, okay? Let's see number two. What is the number two? I uh, I am is um assembler. I am an assembler, okay? I am a, an assembler. Um, Why an assembler? Because the next word start with the vowel sound. And what is a vowel sound? Un sonido vocalico, okay? So that means it's going to be like this, right? Let me check and everybody, right? I am, because it's first person, right? I am an assembler. I am assembler. Yes, mm -hmm. I'm an assembler, right? right. I'm so assembler. this is gonna be the, the second one. What is the third one? Can you read the third one? Michel. Uh -huh. is, is a Floor manager. Floor manager. A floor manager. Okay, excellent. That's uh, the yeah. way. Michelle is a floor it's manager because the next word starts with a consonant. Okay, let's see number three. Oh, no, number four, sorry. Four. My boss is not a mountaineer. My boss is not a mountain. Okay, let's see. He is not. Ah, he's not, or my boss is not. He's not. My boss is not, right? Yes. My boss is not a maintenance, maintenance, right? Maintenance. Maintenance. <laughs> maintenance. Maintenance. Okay, it's not a maintenance. Okay, perfect. This is number four. Let's see number five. He is not. not, not not floor manager. A floor is is not, not a floor manager. Ajá, uh -huh. y qué otra forma podemos ocupar para decir que él no es un un este jefe de piso? Isn't. He isn't. He isn't. Okay. He isn't. He isn't. He isn't. Right. We can use abbreviations or contractions, right? Okay, perfect. So let's see number six, the last one. Nina, what? It's um, an um, Nina is an engineer. He's an engineer. engineer, right? Nina yeah. is an engineer, okay? Perfect. Por qué? Porque engineer and start with a vowel sound. Okay, so that is why we use N. 
Okay, perfect. So let's continue, guys. It's your turn. This is your turn. You are going to complete the following information about three different people and write extra information using a negative statement. Okay? I'm going to put it in breakout rooms. Vamos a utilizar los breakout rooms. Vamos a trabajar in trios, okay? Los voy a poner en los diferentes grupos en los cuales usted va a entrevistar a cada uno de sus compañeros y va a escribir el nombre, va a escribir la ocupación que tiene su compañero y va a escribir esta misma ocupación. Por ejemplo, si él le dice, I'm an engineer, he is an engineer, pero usted me la va a pasar, esa positiva me la va a pasar a negativa. He's not a, an engineer. O si no, puede utilizar algo otra cosa, ¿verdad? Él no es un teacher, él no es un, un supervisor y, y así, ¿verdad? Y me va a entrevistar a los tres compañeritos, ¿ok? Cada uno de ustedes tiene que tener tres de esos. ¿Es clear? No. Ok, perfect. I'm going to make the break okay. rooms. Vaya, les va a llegar por ahí un mensajito en el cual les va a decir que se una a la sala. Estamos 19, so eh, you are 18. 18, let's see. 6, 9, 12, 15. Ok, es una crear. Ok, go ahead. Unámonos, chicos, por ahí les va a llegar un mensajito donde dice join. Join. O unirse, ¿verdad? Excelente, Yuri. Go ahead. Ok, Pedro, unámonos. Jenis, Noemí, Laura, Guadalupe, oso, unámonos, please. To the breakup rooms. Excellent, guys. Laura Guadalupe, okay. And Pedro Benitez also. Okay, Pedro, lo vamos a mover para sala 3. Pedro, lo moví a sala 3. Tres, tres, aquí falta uno. Tres, tres, uno, tres. Uno, dos, tres. Uno, dos, tres. Uno, dos, tres.
Hello, hello. Okay. Do you have any questions? Preguntas, chicos y chicas. En el nombre, solo oír el nombre, este, eh, por ejemplo, Nani Jenis Contreras. Yes. Okay. And the okay. occupation? Uh, she is um, a cash, cashier. Uh -huh. She is an, a cashier. Uh -huh. She uh, is a cashier. And, and then you are going to use the negative form. For example, if you are going to say she is a cashier, she is not a supervisor. Secretary. Or a secretary, uh huh. That's the uh -huh. one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. So, Janice, do you have any questions? Yes, do you have questions, Janice? No. No, right? It's clear? Okay, perfect. So, Luis, do you have any question? No. Okay, perfect. So, let's continue doing that. I'm going to check the other groups, okay? Voy a chequear los otros grupos. If you have any question, please text me, right, in the chat. And I'm going to come back. Okay, thank you so much. What? Hello, hello. Do you have any question, guys? Uh, this moment, teacher. Which? I don't know. Finish. Uh, you you didn't finish. Okay, no worries. You can continue working. But do you have any question? Tener alguna pregunta acerca de. Ah. Uh, <laughs> is... Ay, no, se me está cortando. Entenderé. No se preocupe. Esa es cuestión de acostumbrarse, ¿ok? Medio, tú sabes, escuchando todos los días las palabritas, se va a ir quedando automáticamente, ¿ok? No worries for that. That's the process. Sí, sure. Ajá. Ah. Vamos a hacer la oración, ¿verdad? En eh, negativo. Ajá. Vaya, digamos, si usted le pregunta a Lisette, le pregunta eh, su profesión. What's your occupation? Le dice así. Ah, ella le puede decir, ah, I'm a secretary. Suppose, right? We are going to suppose. So you're okay. going to write, she's a secretary. Y de ahí usted puede hacer uno negativo. Por, probablemente, no ajá, que no sea eso. Sí. Por ejemplo, she's not a cashier. Maybe, right? Ella no es una cajera. Ella no es un supervisor. Ella no es un jefe de piso. Ella no es un ingeniero, right? You can use the vocabulary words that we were studying previously. Okay, mm -hmm. Entonces, una en, en afirmative y una en negative. Así es. Y como, y, como lo, la ocupación en, en positivo, ¿verdad? En ajá. Positivo, y, y lo que no es en negativo. En negativo, así es. Y va a ser las, digamos, va a tener a los tres compañeritos. Va a tener a Luis, bueno, a los dos, ¿verdad? Va a tener a Luis y va a tener a Lisette. Y Lisette lo va a tener a usted y va a tener a Luis. Y así sucesivamente. Tienen que tener tres. Y pueden agregar una de ustedes mismos. Por ejemplo, I am a teacher, I am not a supervisor, something like this, right? Okay. Algo así. Okay? Perfect. So, if you don't have any questions, I'm going to check the other groups. Okay? And I come back later. Perfect. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hello, hello, everybody. Hello. hello. Do you have any questions? Uh, yes. No. Yes, no, yes, no. Who has a question? No. No? 
No, tenemos una experta. Ah, ok, perfecto. Sí. <laughs> That's great, right? That's a good thing, right? So, sí. if there is any questions, okay, let's continue working. I'm going to check the other groups if they have another question. Okay. Um, I have a question. Uh-huh, uh, tell me. How, how can I say um, coordinadora de tarjetas? It's like coordinator cards or card coordinator? Coordinator. Yes. Uh, car, okay. car coordinator. Okay. Coordinator. Car okay. Okay. Car okay. Perfect. Excellent. Uh, Great. Thank you. Coordinator. You are welcome. Bye bye, baby. <laughs> bye. -bye. Car coordinator. <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs> hello, hello everybody. I'm here. Uh -huh. You're talking, 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 right? Do you have any questions about the exercise, guys? Finish. <laughs> so it was a little bit funny, right? Lo hicimos de dos formas. No sé si está bien. Edwin Flores Munguia is he auditor? He is not auditor. Ajá. Y luego lo, hice, lo hicimos de otra forma. Edwin Flores Munguía, are you auditor? You are not auditor. Okay, so you make the question, right? You make the question and also eh, make the negative statement, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's perfect. That's okay. The points that you were, that you was going to do, that you were going to do, sorry, eh, the positive uh, statement that he is a supervisor, or he is an engineer. He is a, a what? A, man a floor manager. En el caso uh -huh. de los japoneses, como lo que ustedes en su empresa, right? Uh -huh. El afirmativo. Y luego lo iban a poner como lo que usted no es en su empresa. Por ejemplo, si usted es un ingeniero, usted va a decir, I'm an engineer, or he is an engineer. And the negative could be, he is not a supervisor. Mm -hmm. Ajá, solo, solo íbamos a tocar los, los, el, el, la oración positiva y la negativa. La pregunta no, ¿ok? Tal vez usted okay. pueda preguntarle, ok, what's your occupation of Edwin, verdad? Y Edwin le va a preguntar a usted, uh, what's your occupation, in order to know what is the occupation that you uh, have in your workplace, right? To make the positive statement. Ok. Okay, but that's good. You just add to add the positive statement, and that's it. Okay, cool. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Go ahead. <laughs>
I'm I'm turn off my microphone, right? So we're going to wait. The others can have again can go out um, out from the sala, and we're going to start. Okay. Okay, perfect. So we're going to start with that, okay? So first of all, I'm going to ask for volunteers. If you don't are a volunteer, I'm going to uh, ask for victims, right? Victims. So volunteers, who wants to participate? Victim. Victims. Okay, perfect. Victims. So Edwin, tell me a number from one to ten. Uh, seven. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Roberto Perla. Okay, Roberto, tell us your examples. Hey, me la <laughs> Nice. I can hear you, Roberto. Please connect your microphone. So the revenge, this uh, Edwin Abarca, right? <laughs> the revenge. <laughs> Correct. Exactly, right? Good. Please, could you connect your microphone, Roberto? Hey, Roberto, are you there? Mm -hmm. Exactly, that's the way. Hola. Oh, I see. Perfect. Hola. Go Hola. ahead. Yes, I can hear you. Bueno, no, no sé si sería uh, Edwin Flores Munguía. He uh -huh. is auditor. No, I'm not auditor. He is not? not auditor. Ah, okay. Edwin Flores Munguia is an auditor. He is not yes. an auditor, right? Okay. Right. But auditor is the position that he um, that he is in charge in their work, right? In his work. Él es un auditor en el trabajo. Okay, perfect. Sí. Entonces, yes. ¿qué, ¿cuál es la posición que no tiene? Tiene que ser otra posición, por ejemplo, he's not a supervisor, or he's not an engineer. Oh, sería ser, tendría que ser, I'm not engineer. Ah, uh, he is not an engineer, okay? Repeat, he is not an engineer. He is not an engineer. Okay, perfect. So, let's see, okay. Edwin, okay, Edwin Flores, Flores, usted estaba trabajando con Roberto, right? Sí, sí. Vale, ok, déle el, el ejemplo de Roberto, así vamos a ir las parejas, right? Los grupos que han trabajado juntos, ok? Este, vaya, José Roberto, he is a, a executive. Ajá, he is an executive. He is not an auditor. He's not an auditor, right? Excellent. So remember that you are going to use the article A and N. Executive okay. start with a vowel sound, so that means we are going to use N. No, él es un ejecutivo. No es ejecutivo. un... Auditor. Auditor. Okay, auditor, right? Excellent. Thank you so much. So, Edwin, tell me a number from one to nine, please. Eight. Eight, okay. One, eight. two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Edwin Navarca, okay. Edwin Navarca, are you there? <laughs> I don't know. This is a coincidence, right? I don't know. Roberto. <laughs> You're number eight. eight. 
Roberto me dijo. Ok. <risa> ok, Nate. Ok, Nate Pedro Velázquez. Ok. He is a agency head. Ajá. Uh -huh. He is no, uh, no, an engineer, algo así, no sé. An engineer, eh, ok. Repeat. Uh -huh. Engineer. Engineer. Excellent. He's not an engineer, ok. Perfect. He's Ok, he's not an engineer. Correct. And we repeat, he's not an engineer. He's not a not an engineer. Excellent. Thank you so much. Ahora dígame con quién trabajó. You were mm -hmm. with Pedro Velázquez. Ok, Peter Velázquez. Tell me what Edwin said. Peter? Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good evening. Nate Edwin Abarca, mm -hmm. the collector. He is a collector. He is, he is not an engineer. He is not an engineer. Okay, excellent, Peter. Peter Mauricio. Dígame, tell me a number from one to eight. Five. Five, okay. One, two, three, four. Five. Karen Beatriz Ramirez Lopez. Okay, Karen, tell me your examples, please. Bea. Carla, Carla is a supervisor. Uh -huh. She is not a, a an ex executive. Okay. <laughs> Carla is a supervisor. She is not an executive, right? Okay, perfect. Yes. So you work with Carla, right? Yes. Okay, Carla, tell us your example. Okay. Name, Mario Gonzalez. Uh, he's an executive. Uh-huh. He is an, a super, super, supervisor. Uh -huh. He is an a supervisor. Okay, supervisor. perfect. Excellent. Thank you so much, Carla. Tell me a number from one to seven. Three. Three, okay. One, two, three. Daniel Jonas mm -hmm. Hernandez Garcia. Okay, Daniel? Okay, sure. Okay. Okay. Nate Lisset Medrano. Okay. Cashier. Uh-huh. And yes, Lisset Medrano is a cashier. Okay. She's a cashier. No. She's a cashier. Okay. Thank you. No, and not Lisset Medrano isn't an actor. Okay. Lisset Medrano isn't an actor, an actress in this case, right? No es una actriz, okay? An actress. Excellent. Thank you so much. So you were with Lisette, verdad? Yes. Okay, Lisette, tell us your example. Uh, Nate Daniel Jonas Hernandez. Mm -hmm. Occupation. He is an engineer. Uh, is not is not a super, supervisor. Okay, he is an engineer. He is not a supervisor. Okay, perfect. Okay, Lisset. You were with trabajo con quien más? Uh, Luis Varela. Okay, Pero... Luis Varela. Uh -huh. Tell me. Hello. Okay, Luis Varela. Tell me your examples, please. Uh, okay. Uh, name. Yuri Rivas. Okay. She is a secretary. Mm -hmm. uh, she is not a cashier. She is not a cashier. Okay. Perfect. Excellent. So you were okay, Alexa Guadalupe. You were with. I work with Marlene Martinez. Um, his name is Marlene Martinez. Her name is. She Marlenis Martinez. Okay. And 
she is a credit card coordinator. Okay. And she isn't a teacher. Okay, perfect. Excellent. Thank you so much. Marlene, tell me your example. Nine. Mm, Laura Guadalupe. Okay, Laura, Laura Guadalupe. Occupation. She's an executive. She's an executive. Uh -huh. She is not an actress. She's not an actress. Okay, perfect. So let's continue with. Wait, 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 wait. You were with? Say the name. Laura Guadalupe. Laura Guadalupe. Where is Laura Guadalupe? Laura? She's not here. Okay. Maybe she has problem with the internet connection, right? Okay, so who didn't participate yet? Quem no participa aún? Mario Gonzalez, yes. right? Okay, Mario, go ahead. Tell me your examples, please. Okay. Um, Karen Ramirez. Mm -hmm. She is a digitizer. Okay. She is not a soccer player. She's not a soccer player. Okay, perfect. <laughs> Excellent. So, Judy, okay, Judy, go ahead, Judy. And um, I, Janice Contreras, occupation, she is a um, cashier. Mm -hmm. uh, she is not a um, secretary. She's not a secretary, she is a cashier. Okay, perfect. Okay, Janice, know what I mean? Tell me your examples. Janice? Janice? Are you there? Nay, Miss Varela. Okay. He is an executive. He is not an, in, an engineer. Okay, he's not an engineer. Okay, perfect. So, who is missing? Quien falta? By the way, I have two Luis Varelas connected. Luis Varela and Luis Varela, okay. Pedro Benitez, you already participate? No, I'll fall down. Okay. <laughs> okay, right. Pedro Benitez. All right, teacher. Okay, perfect. So, <laughs> tell me your examples. You were high, right? Thank you very much. You were like running high, running high, como las escondidas, right? <laughs> I'm going to disconnect my camera. I know that the teacher don't, don't ask me, right? <laughs> Name, uh, Roberto. Okay. He's an uh, executive. Okay, he's an executive. He's not an engineer. He's not an engineer, okay, perfect. ¿Con quién más? ¿Quién más falta, chicos? Who's missing? Nobody else? No. Okay, perfect. So let's continue, guys. I'm going to share one more time, and we're going to continue with that. Okay, after making this, guys, we are going to just read a conversation. Listen, and we're going to repeat it, right? I need two volunteers that read this short conversation. Who helped me? Quien me ayuda? What I choose? Here. Okay. okay, Carla and Mauricio, right? Okay, Carla, Susana, and Mauricio. Okay, go ahead. Good morning. I am Miss Mary Garcia. I, I am the new secretary. Nice to meet you. Okay, Mauricio, continue. My name is Mario. Okay, nice to meet you too. I am Mr. Romero Lobos. Ah, Mario. 
and they are Mr. Rodrigo Campos and Mr. Luis Perez. Okay. So I need another well, another person here. They are three, right? Welcome. We are from the marketing department. So let's continue with Mario. <clears throat> Mario, perdón. No, I'm not. I no. am from the quality department. They are marketing manager. Yes, we aren't. From the some department, but we are college. Okay, let's see, Carla. Thank you so much for information. Okay, perfect, excellent. So just to correct some welcome. pronunciations, okay? So let's repeat after me, guys. Same. Please repeat everybody. Same. 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 Colleagues. Same. Colleagues. 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 The same. The same. The same. The same. The same. The same. Okay, what was the other word? Let's see. No, I guess there is just two of them, right? This is quality. Repeat. Quality. 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 Okay, and that's all, right? Okay, thank you so much. Thank you so much. So, guys, um, faltan ocho minutitos. Creo que podemos hacer la siguiente actividad, right? We are going to just complete the sentences using some information from the conversation above. So, we are going to Read again the conversation and you are going to answer these questions or you are going to complete this statement or these sentences, right? Rodrigo and Luis, marketing manager. What is missing? They are. Uh -huh. Rodrigo and Luis are marketing managers. Marketing. Excellent. So let's see number two. Rodrigo and Romeo and Rodrigo. Are. Uh -huh. um, are from the same? From the same department. Department. Uh -huh. department. 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 Okay, number three. We are college. We are college. We are college. Okay. We are college. Excellent. And the last one, number four. They are. They are. They are, they are the company. Okay. They are in the same. Company. Company. company okay perfect excellent great they are. so let's see just give me some minutes in order to chart the page okay so that's the way you're gonna do this okay remember that when we talk about more than one person right you are going to use the forms of the verb are because it's in plural and because it's represented by the pronoun they and they is a second person okay so in this case all of them are are because they are talking about more than one person right for example here we have rodrigo and luis romeo and rodrigo right here we have we and here we have they that is why every every yes. uh, or, or, or each sentence is with are okay because we are talking about second person Okay, it's clear? Yeah. Okay, yeah. the manual doesn't charge. Okay, we're going to stop here, guys. And we are going to open the time in which you are going to make some questions. Do you have any questions? Tiene alguna pregunta acerca del tema? No. No? Alguna duda en cuanto a cómo vamos a ocupar? Las Hola. formas del verbo to be, cuando vamos a, cómo vamos a hacer la estructura de las preguntas con un verbo to be en simple presente. No. No. Yes, everything, everything is clear. Mm -hmm. Oh. Uh -huh. Daniel? Yes. Yeah. Are you tired? ¿Está cansado? 
So, so. So, so. What a less. Yes. Okay, perfect. So, vaya, chicos. Faltan cinco minutitos. Bueno, cuatro ahorita, ¿verdad? Para que termine el tiempo de los 120 minutos que ustedes deben de estar en la reunión. Entonces, ahorita si los despacho, me les van a poner ahí que le faltó cuatro minutos. Ok, así que hay que esperar. Por eso delegué este tiempo para que usted pueda hacer preguntas. Si usted no tiene ninguna pregunta, está bien. Ajá. Este, en la plataforma hay unos videos. Eso solo lo vamos a ver. No sí. vamos a escribir nada. Vaya. Eh, los videos aparecen después de la clase. Usted ve ahí un señor que aparece, ¿verdad? Esos uh -huh. videos no, no tienen nada. Solamente aparece el señor hablando un ratito así. Entonces sí. son como muestras, ¿verdad? De que ahí va a haber un video. Pero el video que se va a subir todos los días es el video de la clase. Por ejemplo, la del día de ayer ya está disponible en la tarea número uno. Correcto. Donde dice okay. video. Si usted se perdió la, la clase, si usted pues tiene alguna duda de cuanto a la explicación del tema y usted quiere volver a ver el video, lo puede buscar en la parte donde dice tarea uno y está el icono del video. Usted le da clic y va a encontrar la clase del día de ayer. El día de mañana, antes de la, bueno, después de las 8 de la mañana, el video de esta clase va a estar disponible para que usted lo pueda ver de nuevo. Cuando empieza usted, desee y necesita. ¿Ok? Y así cada clase se va subiendo el video, se va subiendo el video, se va subiendo el video. ¿Ok? ¿Es clear? Thank you. Uh, okay. uh, ¿Una pregunta? Ajá, dígame, Lisa. Para los que no hemos podido entrar, nos ayudaría. Sí, les ayudaría la, los técnicos de soporte técnico, ¿verdad? Que serían los chicos del staff de inglés corporativo. Por eso les digo yo que les escriban al personal. Pero yo mañana les voy a hacer otro recordatorio a ellos para ver si nos pueden ayudar. Solo les voy a pedir que en el, cha, en el chat, en el grupo, manden su nombre completo y diga que es el problema que usted tiene, ¿verdad? Si no puede entrar a la plataforma para yo mandarle los mensajes a la persona y que ella vea quiénes son los que tienen problemas y se contacte con usted para poder ayudarle a, a ingresar a la plataforma. Ya en específico. Okay. Mm -hmm. Una cuestión. Y las tareas que están pendientes. Esa usted tiene toda esta semana para hacerlas. Tiene hasta el día viernes en la tarde, digamos. Antes de ¿Cuántas tareas clase. son? Una son, son seis. Son o cinco, cinco. Cinco tareas, una por día. Uh -huh. En esta okay. semana solamente tenemos cinco tareas. La otra semana sí vamos a tener las cinco tareas y vamos a tener el midterm, el examen medio, que consta de cuatro partes. Entonces, la otra semana creo que vamos a tener un, un ratito para ir trabajando en el midterm, si gustan, o en las tareas, ya sean las tareas o el midterm, para poder ayudarles. Para que no se me saturen mucho de trabajo, pues yo sé que ustedes trabajan, ¿verdad? Y tal vez, pues, no tengan mucho tiempo. Entonces, va a haber un espacio para ayudarles. Ok. Ok. okay. Excelente. ¿Another question? ¿No más preguntas? Okay, perfect. So, guys, it was a pleasure to have you here, and I hope you, I hope you to see you tomorrow at the same time in the same channel. Okay, thank you so much, and have a nice night. Right, have a nice dream. Also, bye bye, and take care. See you tomorrow, bye guys. Bye. Good night. 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 <laughs> Good night, everybody. Good night, Mario. Goodbye, everybody. Good night, everybody. Good night. <laughs>